in order to take on the steep, rocky landscape of the Romanian wilderness for four days in a row on a hard enduro bike, you've got to be a little mad. But at the rip-roaring Red Bull Romaniacs, in madness we trust. That's the title of the wicked 19th edition of this rally. Welcome to round five of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship. If you're pumped for the city prologue, you're not alone. It's back for the first time since 2019, and we are hyped. Out here at the city prologue, pretty excited. It's pretty warm out now. Um, we have like two seating runs, and then the top 35 anyways goes into the qualifying race. Um, so it should be some good racing going on. I believe it's going to be a lot of fun. The track is pretty, pretty nice, not too many challenges but uh, really some parts where you can get stuck. So hopefully uh, I can get a clean run and then uh, be in the top 10. It's a little warm, but uh, yeah, happy to be back racing. You know, I don't, you know, I don't mind anyway. Prologue, first day of the mountains, you know, it's all good. I'm happy to be back. Prologue's a little bit faster than normal, I'd say, but it's always intense. Uh, you know, I think we're doing over 10 minutes at least. So it's just always intense and you want to save, but I do want to save myself for the main race. <laughs> It's my second Romaniacs and my first time doing the downtown prologue and it's, it's pretty sweet. I mean, they close off a street and we get to race our dirt bikes over obstacles. So that's pretty cool and we got fans here. So I'm pretty excited to get going here on a prologue day. So hello everybody, we're here, it's the prologue. This is the all important day that kicks things off here at Red Bull Romaniacs 2022. So what's in store after that? They've got a hellish four days in the mountains. But today it's all focused here on the prologue. It's ridiculously hot and it's not gonna cool down by the end of the race. So let's see who can take the prologue and set off first tomorrow on off-road day one. It all starts with a morning qualifier where bronze, silver, and gold riders fight for one of the 35 positions in each class available in the prologue final. While most of the riders are rocking this race on two strokes, a couple of bronze class contenders have decided to go another way with it. If you follow Dakar, you know this guy. He's Austria's own Matthias Wagner, and he's taking on the track on his four-stroke KTM 450 rally. And Paul Tarez is back with his hefty Yamaha Tenere 700. This bad boy is 205 plus kilos, 452 pounds of mean machine. It will be interesting to see how these two athletes fare over the next four days. Paul Torres actually took the best time in his class, but it looks like both riders will make it into the prologue. Later in the gold class, Czech pro David Cyprian is sitting ninth overall in the series, and here he's giving a solid performance. So is Polish young gun Dominic Oljovi. Third in the series, Mario Roman is faster, but not as fast as Taddy Blazuziak making his series comeback in fine form. Defending Romaniac's champ Manny Lettenbickler speeds through in second. And in 2020, this guy got third place on the Romaniac's podium. In the qualifier, Alfredo Gomez comes in with the best time. 35 riders in each class will now make their way into the prologue final. The party goes full swing in the late afternoon when top riders from the morning hit the punishing prologue track. In the bronze class, Matthias Wachner is doing his best until he bails. The Austrian will take 12th in his class. Paul Torres, on the other hand, rides his behemoth of a bike through the obstacles and right into third place. Then 35 gold class warriors take off in rows of five. Manny Lettenbickler and Taddy Blazuziak are neck and neck off the top, followed by the rest of the field. They have 10 minutes plus one lap to get the best time. Manny finds a chance to take the lead. Then Taddy makes a mistake bumping into another rider. 
allowing Gomez to move into second. As the laps continue, things get switched up in front. Lettenbickler finds trouble in a tricky section of the track. This allows Gomez to take the lead. He's trailed by Blazuziak. The two battle fiercely at the front. While third place is swapped between Dominic Oljovi and Mario Roman. But Lettenbickler's on the prologue comeback and fights his way to third. The front runners battle down to the wire. Chatty overtakes Alfredo. But Gomez answers back with a strong final push. And he will take the top of the prologue podium. Taddy Blazuziak has a mega return to the series in second. And the defending champ, Manny Lettenbicker, will take third. I thought it will be less fun than, than, than it was, but uh, in the end I had a nice fight with uh, Daddy and uh, after that it uh, was good. I had a very good piece over the tires and I think that's uh, where I won the race. I had it with half lap to go and my shifter got hanged up, hand up on one of the tires, four months off. You know, just got back right in, stoked. I tried to call up to these two guys, but they pulled a little bit of a gap then and Mario, Dominic, like, they've been riding pretty good and it um, was cool to see already that everyone is, like, super fired up. Well, in the morning I was on, in the first position in bronze class and silver too. And the afternoon and the race, I know it will be more difficult because the weight of the bike is, is too much for me. <laughs> but we are on the podium again, so one year ago we was here just battling for the, the getting the finish line and now we are on the podium. <laughs> it's, it's like, I can't believe <laughs> Based on the prologue results, tomorrow's starting order will look like this. Manny will be first on the track, followed by Blazuziak, and today's winner will go third. We'll explain more about why starting third is advantageous tomorrow. So that's the City prologue done. Hope you guys have enjoyed that one. It was a mega racing. Alfredo Gomez took it. What a sick ride he had. And then Manny had a few problems. Taddy stomping it back with a good solid second, but four days in the mountains now, people. Today was intense, but nothing compared to what's in store over the next four days. Join us back here for the beginning of the brutal day one off-road at Red Bull Romaniacs. Things are about to get wild. Check it out on Red Bull TV.